We're finally here. DLC for Ace Combat 7. The missions are out. Well, so far we only have one, but we have release dates for the next two. What we know so far is it's clearly in a place we've been in before, so let's uh let's check it out. Hey Alex, I've almost finished writing the summary for the report. Perfect. I'm still unconvinced. So here's a question for you, Alex. How can we do this without killing three strikes? Hey, it's me. Still hasn't recovered? He has, but the doctor won't let him run. <laughs> Just as much. How much longer are you gonna make me wait? Who's the self-important stiff? Here, it really is quite important. We're connected. Ready now, sir. <sighs> I'm Brigadier General Howard Clemens. I'm in charge of this operation. Our objective is to capture an advanced submarine in harbor at Artiglio. The port of Artiglio and the surrounding oil facilities were mostly destroyed by another air operation. Oh, that port. Seems like such a long time ago. You've been there? <laughs> Illusion forces repaired the facilities and used them to resupply and maintenance a massive submarine. Here's a question. How long do you think this submarine is? If you guess 495 meters, you're right. It also has a width of 116 meters. Haha, <laughs> nailed it. 810,000 tons. No, for real, that's a big it's boy. It's a super-sized nuclear submarine powered by two liquid metal cooled reactors. I guess it really is huge. So who's the quiz show host? David North. I'm an OIA analyst from Advanced Weapons Analysis. Why isn't he here? Because he doesn't need to be. He can perform his analysis at his home office. <laughs> We've got ourselves an armchair detective. Continue. I've come to call this super submarine the Alicorn. The Alicorn is a submarine, and yet it can stage aircraft operations like a carrier. It also boasts some serious firepower with its two main railguns. Their range is over 400 kilometers. A real monster. The sub's force projection capabilities are equivalent to a carrier strike group. Furthermore, it can approach underwater or use aircraft and railguns to attack outside the enemy's range. It has an unusual history befitting such a ship. It was launched four years ago. However, it went MIA on a sea trial after being outfitted. It was later found at the bottom of the ocean by chance. Another 356 crewmen, 330 were rescued. Here's the question. For how many days was the Alicorn underwater? It was 698 days. Jeez. They were down there two years? They were on the seafloor at 15 degrees. So why are they deploying into the front lines now? I suspect it has to do with the loss of an arsenal bird and the IRBM cluster. Huh. Okay. How did supplies get to it? We captured it. Don't make me repeat myself. We've had reports from local sources that there are weapons of mass destruction aboard the Alicorn. Source. If we can secure that evidence, we'll gain advantage in the peace negotiations post-war. The Ocean Navy has dispatched a fleet, including a landing ship, to capture the Alicorn. Our mission is to secure air superiority and protect this assault and capture task force. If we take too long, they'll scuttle the sun. The fleet will commence its actions while we seize the skies. Wouldn't it be risky to bring the fleet in before we secure air superiority? That is none of your concern. So basically, you're putting our fleet in danger for political gains. They should have taught how to address superiors in boot camp. 
An EW squadron will be deployed. Their ESM will be a valuable asset. Stay within their range, and you'll have a significant advantage over your enemies. The ETA for the EW aircraft is the same as HI. Only Strider Squadron will sort you. Well, I have to sit this one out? Wait, Wiseman, you're not coming? I'll be assisting the Brigadier General at HQ. This is by no means a difficult mission. Your squadron commander's absence shouldn't change that. Something's off about this mission. It's just us out there. I mean, yeah, again, it says allies behind us, but like, I mean, I'm not sure. Ooh, new music? I think I'm gonna go with, uh, I wanna do DLC, but they're honestly ridiculously OP. Like, uh, I never did videos on the Falcon and the Morgan. Not like, I mean, it's just, I didn't feel like making it. The Raven video is kind of a pain in the ass to make. I think if it's mostly going to be air to air, I kind of want to fly the F-15. Strider Squadron, aircraft prep complete. You're cleared to taxi. September 4th. This took place, this mission took place before the cutscene. The cutscene was September uh, 19th. Set off as soon as we're ready. Here we go, Strider Squadron. Of course they will. Retreat and wait for backup. Retreat not authorized. Gain air superiority at once. Trigger, what now? Um. That's a lot of planes. Engage. Let's go. Let's get this bread. We're doing it, Count. Ah, fuck. Nearby. Come on, let's walk on the list nearby. Shit! There you go. Drake Squadron? Yeah. Well, let's go. Haha. -ha. Yeah, look, the reticle changed. Oh, that's cool. Multiple aircraft approaching this airspace. They're Harriers. Of course they are. Wow, the ESM helps. Holy shit. They're the Harriers. Let's take him down. Damn, I'm lighting him up. Oh. 
all been destroyed. Detecting hostile barrage jamming at Rodney W aircraft. I'm displaying the jammed area on your radars. I will take them down. The approaching landing ship is to be considered hostile. Set it as your target. Roger. Set primary target to hostile landing ship Puffin. Our target is the captain of the Puffin, Robert Carey. EA 18 G's. Oh shit, you're right. It's jamming it. It's jamming me. Oh, I could probably gun it down. Got it. In the clouds, too. <laughs> Come at me, bro. <laughs> Come on, make contact. Dude, I'm running out of missiles. Fuck it. We're not fighting you, AVs. It's just as hard on them as it is on us. Sky is definitely prettier in uh, the last time we were over this area, this airspace. Alright, help me out, ESM. Will one missile take it down? Yes! I don't need to double tap. All down. Let's go. Who the? Who is that? All aircraft be advised. Two bogies on the approach. Aircraft type SU-47. Oh, it's the nerds from the uh, the trailer. Rage and scream. Clear to engage? Shit, I need missiles. Alright, where are they? Oh shit! Fuck! Ye Dude, what's that around him? It's an ECM type of saturation decoy. Actually scanned for the source. Holy shit. After me. Hang in there, screen. Trigger, the enemy switched up their ECM. It's a lot breaker. I got you sorry to attack. Take him down. Come on. Later, nerd. Get fucked. I see you. I can't lock onto you. What the fuck? I shot you down. Shut up. Wow, he fucked up that area. Fuck, I wanted to... Alright. No longer part of the Erujian military. And then what were those nerds, the uh, Rage and Scream? Like, what were their allegiances? Did they just want to shoot me down because they're jelly or something? 
secured air superiority. Pop and copy. Commencing capture operation. The rest is all yours, Captain. Now I can finally have my sausage rolls. Bruh. That's the kind of food you need up there? Of course. Anything other than finger food would get in the way of my duties. Of course it hits me. Took longer than I expected. I'll be leaving now. You take command from here on. Well done, pilot. Oh, it's moving. Uh oh. Um. Rip. Holy shit. The one I'm locked on to. Fox 2. Shit. Target down. Operation has been completed. Stand by for further orders. Hold on. We still don't know who those bats were. Why were they after Trigger? They were using OCS radio frequency. You mean they're on our side? Impossible. They didn't respond to our IFF. Or maybe they were there to settle a personal score. There's nothing unusual about being shot in the back by an ally. Guess it might have been that way where we came from, but you know what I'm saying, Trigger? Everyone, here's a question. That's enough. Remove him from the call. Wait, wait, don't hang up on me yet. How did they know that we had intelligence on their weapons of mass destruction? They never would have taken such actions if they didn't know. They have a spy. Huh. Better to be suspicious than not, I suppose. At the very least, we'll have to assume from here on out that they know everything that we do. Huh. Interesting. Well, I'm really excited for the next couple of missions. Oh, another cutscene. Another question, Alex. Captain Mateus Torres, the captain of the Alicorn. What is his goal? There are 21 likely targets. The number of main routes. Wrong. To the target is 2,405. Ah, you're being too logical. Want me to define name? Alex, can you be more sensory? What do you mean? Make me a collage of Taurus' quotes. Work freely. Keep my hypothesis in mind. Life taken by cheap kills of forward projectional sea power. No good. No good. 
Alex. All right, let's go on. Try to be a little more sensuous. Monstrous. 16,752. And salvation of passivity. Okay. Vulgarity of six per minute. A forward security. Good. Will of nuclear retaliation on death. He's going to nuke the Ocean mainland. Where massacre is placed by mass planning. More logically. Salvation of 10 million. An elegant massacre upon the caged continents. Stop. That's uh, uh, correct. Or is it? Hey you, watching this video, tomorrow on September 26th at 6.45pm, I will be live streaming Halo 4 here on YouTube. There, I will be talking about packs and Halo Outpost Discovery along with chatting with you, the viewers. For those of you that are new to this channel or haven't been keeping track, I've been live streaming the campaigns of the mainline Halo games to act as a refresh to the game's story in preparation for Halo Infinite because the last time I played the campaign for a Halo game, besides ODST, was 2016. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and be sure to subscribe and tune into the live stream tomorrow here on YouTube. See you then.